What's going on, everyone? It's KB DeMarc back to bring you the news. On today's wrestling report, we have many stories to discuss, starting with WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling working together, and NWA stars expected to sign to WWE, the real reason why Kevin Dunn left WWE, and many more stories. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the news. WWE is expected to be active in free agency this year as they try to keep talent under contract and sign free agents, including Camille. Camille has been a regular in the NWA since October 2018, becoming one of the biggest stars that the NWA had under contract. She will branch out as a single star after initially being Nick Aldis' insurance policy. The promotion got behind her as the face of the women's division. She became women's champion, a title that she held for over 800 days, but now is looking elsewhere. As previously reported, Camille's deal with the promotion expired at the end of 2023, and while the two sides are on good terms, it was believed she was on her way out. In the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reported that Camille is expected to join WWE, where she will likely start in NXT. It was added that nobody has confirmed that a deal has been made, but it is expected. Mercedes Monet had a chance to make a return to WWE ahead of her in-ring return from injury. Although the two sides couldn't come to terms on a deal, however, that doesn't mean there are any hard feelings between them. WWE was in talks with Monet about returning, but once talks broke down, WWE sources claimed that they were the ones to walk away from the negotiations as they were far apart on money. It also set the stage for her potential return as they were told the company would absolutely love to have her back and have made that clear and that at least early discussions between the sides have happened. One source felt confident that she would eventually return, although until a deal is signed, nothing is official. Kevin Dunn, who was one of Vince McMahon's most trusted employees, and he was one of the most influential people behind the scenes, oversaw WWE TV production for years. He recently gave his notice to the company as his tenure ended at the end of 2023, and more details regarding his departure continue to come out. As previously reported, Dunn's say had decreased over the last year plus with McMahon no longer in charge. His decision to leave came down to the changes being made internally since TKO took over after the merger, with one source noting Dunn was never going to do anything that was dictated. He also didn't want to alter the production style compared to how he saw it. PW Insider reports Dunn is done with WWE by his own choice and is not looking to retire from working. Instead, he's looking into potential film and TV projects. It's not likely he will do anything wrestling related. Although he was praised when leaving, the report noted Dunn exited because he felt disrespected and was a Vince McMahon guy, as one source stated. Let's be honest, Dunn was the Vince McMahon guy. They were told the relationship between the two sides has gotten more and more frayed in recent weeks. One source described it as getting uglier even after Dunn gave notice on Christmas week. WWE is seemingly open to working with other promotions now that 2024 is in full swing under the leadership of Triple H. In the past, the company under Vince McMahon has worked with other promotions when it best fit them. WWE previously sent Shinsuke Nakamura to Pro Wrestling Noah to work a match with the great Muda as part of his retirement tour. WWE sent Charlie Dempsey, the son of William Regal, to challenge for the Triple Crown title at New Year Giants Series 2024 on January 3rd, but came up short. As previously reported, WWE has also expressed interest in working with Stardom. It should be noted that Stardom and New Japan Pro Wrestling are owned by their parent company, Bushiroad. In the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reported that Triple H and WWE President Nick Khan could be looking at another Japanese ally. Meltzer wrote, there has been talks internally of them trying to make another go with New Japan now that Hiroshi Tanahashi is president. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling have a long working relationship that has become strong with them hosting the co-promoted Forbidden Door pay-per-view event for the last two years. 
AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling also allow talent to work for each company. The shoulder injury that MJF has been dealing with could leave him on the sidelines for much longer than expected. MJF worked the AEW World's End pay-per-view event injured when he lost the AEW World Heavyweight Championship against Samoa Joe in the main event. Heading into the bout, he was dealing with a torn labrum and a hip injury. The latter injury was sustained when he performed an elbow drop off the top rope to the floor in the Jay White match at Full Gear the previous month. Heading into the show, the belief that he would be taking time off coming out of it was something that was confirmed after the event. A previous update noted MJF was debating whether to do rehab or get surgery, although should he get the surgery, AEW will be without him for a while. In the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reported that he's hoping to have it healed through rehab rather than surgery because surgery will put him out for months and he was told perhaps close to a year which he wants to avoid for now mjf and his doctors will determine what direction he goes with while aew looks to build off the momentum of joe as his world champ for now mjf and his doctors will determine what direction he goes with while aew looks to build off the momentum of joe as his world champion that's it guys thank you for tuning in please feel free to express your opinion below be sure to check out more videos from the channel remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and push that notification bell for daily wrestling videos once again i'm kb the mark signing off until the next one i started with nothing that came out of king came out of king yeah i've been the one that's been balling for rings i've been the one that's been balling for rings it's been me and my team and we chasing the green my team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free. Ballin for free yeah. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free.